welcome back to another vlog um, it's actually a nice sunny day today but my day started off horrific I'm not gonna lie it was I've had the day or the morning from hell so I can kind of tell what today's gonna be like and I'm well I'm hoping the rest of the day doesn't follow what the morning was like um, <laughs> so I got up around five this morning and I thought oh nobody else is awake Cody's not awake um, I'll just go downstairs I'll have me a nice coffee chill before you know the little ones start waking up wake myself up so I get out of bed I walk down the stairs and the living room doors open and I can hear barking so I turn back round before I've even got into the living room and Tilly's at the top of the stairs like our puppy so I go and get Tilly come down the stairs again and I notice on the sofa there's two poos she's pooed on my sofa one sloppy poo and, and just sorry for the too much information but and one like normal one so I have to go and wake Jonathan up so we can help me clean this poo up um, and the living room stunk it absolutely stunk so it must have been there like all night or most of the night anyway because it was a really 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 bad smell so I, I wasn't the last one downstairs um, I came upstairs last night and then Jonathan followed me but I know he 100% make sure that the doors are shut um, for obvious reasons for reasons like this so what's happened is um sky's got up no she weren't asleep so sky's come downstairs and shut the window because there's a wasp um okay that's better um sky's come downstairs for whatever reason um gone into the kitchen where Tilly is probably for a drink or something some sort of snack late last night and she's not shut the door to the kitchen where Tilly sleeps um, she used to sleep in a cage but now she's bigger we just let her you know she can sleep in the kitchen it's fine um, while she's being trained you know that's where she's got to sleep because she's not fully puppy trained yet so We'd just be coming down to things like this if she was to sleep in the living room. The, th the thing is as well, she doesn't normally, I don't normally come downstairs to two poos in her little cage thing because that's where she normally does it on the puppy mat in her cage. I don't normally come downstairs to two poos, um, sometimes one but never ever two. So why she did decided to do two poos last night I'll never know but anyway. Guy's come downstairs, she's left the kitchen door open, so Tilly's got into the living room, but she hasn't just left the, the kitchen door open, she's left the living room door open, which leads to upstairs. So I don't know how long she'd been upstairs before um, I woke up, because it was free access all night, so I have no idea, no idea. Um, but anyway, so my morning started off like that. I had to wake Jonathan up, which he wasn't too pleased about. I had to come and clean Tilly's poop off the sofa. So now we've got three towels on the sofa while it dries. So we obviously scrubbed it and cleaned it all up. Um, so while it dries, we've got three towels on the sofa, which obviously isn't the best. Um, a nail come off as well, pretty minor, but yeah, a nail came off. I had my nails done the other day, um, and that, it's not cheap, not cheap to have your nails done. So I had my nails done the other day, and one just pinged off, um, not half of it, like fully, fully intact, just pink, like pinged off. So I did plan on um, going back to the shop today and getting them to redo it, but I'm just... I'm so lazy. I can't be bothered to go for one nail. I just can't. Um, I'd rather wait and then go get them all done at the same time. But for one nail, that's just a lot of effort. Um, 
And then the second, well, third, if you like, thing that happened was I was about to do Megan's hair for the day. It was around about seven. Yeah, about seven o'clock. Um, and I've noticed head lice. Now, I check Megan's hair every single day, but all the girls' hair every single day before I do it. So, when she went to school on Friday morning, there was her hair was clean, completely clean. So, she's obviously caught it, caught them on Friday, and then she's had them the weekend, um, which is really, really, really frustrating because I'm having to do Megan's hair every other month because you know that these head lice are still obviously going about they do hand letters out as well the hand letters out and you know for some reason they're still going about i um i said to jonathan you're gonna have to go um to tesco because tesco's open all hours um and get some treatment because we need to do megan's hair Isla didn't have an A, Sky hasn't got an A, so it's definitely come from Megan's class um, and definitely got them Friday. I did let her have her hair half up, half down on Friday. I did um and ah, and I thought, oh, what if she, you know, if there is these nits, these headlights going around, um, and I thought, well, it's only half a day because it was, um, she had a fight the second half of the day. So it's only half a day, well, I'll just let her have it half up, half down. Never again. That's my mistake. Never, ever again. But it is frustrating because these um, head lice treatments, they aren't cheap. So um, we've had to do, well, I've had to do all of Megan's hair. And Megan, bless her, she, she doesn't, her skin doesn't react well to the stuff. It starts burning and getting red. Uh, and then a bit went in her eye because it was dripping and it stung her eye. So it, it's such a shame for Meg. She has to go through an ordeal every single time just because her skin does not agree with this solution. So today, this morning, has been a bit of a nightmare. So I am hoping that the rest of the day goes well. But you never know. Oh yeah, and as well, um, Tilly, she must have a stomach bug or something because her um, her stools are not um, solid. They're not solid, that's all I'm going to say. Um, so when she has um, done a number two, it's all like um, stuck to her all stuck to her hair so obviously when she sat down you can work the rest out so we're having to go around and clean all that up and wipe her make sure she's clean um but i am going to have to bath tilly as well today which is an ordeal in itself because she doesn't like water at all she doesn't like water um well she doesn't like a bath anyway so it, it's just oh, a stressful day today I can tell um, and then I'm thinking about doing a well sorting out the kids clothes for holiday so we were going abroad we were going abroad in well May just gone but because sorry I thought I just heard something um, but because we have Tilly we decided that it wouldn't be fair to just leave her with my mum while she's so young um, and that we'd um, book another holiday in this country and take her with us and then just push the abroad holiday back. Um, so we're going to Paris next year, Disneyland Paris, um, and we're going to Cornwall this year, like uh, end of the month actually. So a couple of weeks time we're going to Cornwall. Um, the kids have all had new clothes and whatever else, so I'm going to sort through all of them. Um, I've still got to get a few bits and bobs, I've still got to get Sky some things um, and probably myself a few bits, a few vest tops and whatnot. Um, and also we've, we're going to have to pack for all kinds of weather because this is England. I know obviously we're supposed to have a, well, obvious, we're supposed to have a um, really nice August um, but July's been 
terrible. It's rained now every day, probably for the past two weeks. So we've got a pet for all weather. But I am gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that after, and I'll show you guys what the little ones are going to be taking. Where are you going, Cody? Where are you going? I go in the, I go shopping. You going shopping? Are you going to school? Cody. I thought you were going to school. No, why? You going to school and then you're going swimming, aren't you? <laughs> going to school and then swimming to do some splashing. Yeah? Can you draw me a picture today? Can you draw me a great big dinosaur picture? Yeah? Do me a green one. Big, big green one, Code. Yeah? I yellow dinosaur. You're going to do me a yellow dinosaur? Okay, then. You're going to have a nice day? And do some puzzles? And play outside? What is it? An aeroplane. It is, isn't it? Do you like aeroplanes? Aeroplane to the beach. We'll be going on one of them. Do you want to go on an aeroplane? You've got these little fish, haven't you? These little fish are is it two, 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 something like that anyway. And they were like two pound god for ten different colours. And Cody loves them because he likes fish. Don't you, Code? What colour is that one? Blue. You've got a blue one and you've got a, a pink one, yeah. And what colour is this? Orange. Good boy. And you like playing with them, don't you? Yeah, I like to see You are the sweetest thing. You're going to go to school then? Is it school time? Bye bye Cody. So one of the other things that I did get because I'm always always sorry paranoid um, whenever we are around water. Um, I'm paranoid of the kids. Not so much Sky now because she's older and I know she's a confident swimmer. Um, but I am really paranoid with the little ones. Um, they do have, well, Isla and Megan do have swimming lessons, so I know that they're, you know, that they're not totally useless in water, but they are still very young, so to me, the armbands aren't enough, so I did get them. I got these for the girls, um, was it start of the year actually, because we were going away, um, and I wanted the girls to... Uh, be kept totally safe, be totally, totally safe in the water. Um, and because there was only one of me and there were two of the girls, um, obviously I couldn't have them both at the same time in the pool. So um, I got these, these things. So obviously like this bit goes round their belly, straps at the back. Um, and then these are like garment bands. And this just keeps them totally, totally upright. They're so good. So um, the girls have got one of these each. And I ordered Cody one from Amazon, um, which does the exact same thing. Um, and all of them love the water. They love the water. So um, these are going to come in really, really, really useful. And I'll feel a lot better as well knowing that they're you know they can't drown or they they can't possibly go under the water with these floats on so i got them and we'll be taking them 
they're quite chunky like obviously you can't let them down or you don't blow them up they're already done so they, they're going to take up quite a bit of um, suitcase room but if I, if I didn't bring them I'd be like if I forgot them I'd be gutted I'd be rushing around trying to find the nearest shop which sold them so yeah I feel a lot better knowing that the kids the smaller kids have got those so the camera is like balancing on a box right now I'm having to duck so I'm gonna have to rearrange this uh, camera guys okay that's that's better that will do even though you can't see the top of my head that will do um towel wise I think we're gonna take two beach towels each um because we you know we're gonna go swimming we're gonna go to the beach a few times we'll go swimming a few times as well um so obviously while one's washed and and drying we need another one so I did order the girls like little it's hard to hard to show you but you know little um not little but pony towels pony beach towels um they've got one of them each I ordered um one for Sky Sky's is Sky's is just like this Sky wanted like a plainer one she obviously didn't want the pony can't see why personally but Sky's is kind of like that Summer Suns I think it says Summer Suns got like a rainbow one um so Sky's got that one they are very thin um, I'm hoping that they dry <laughs> or that they dry us because they, they are thin um, and on the description it didn't say obviously it didn't but I had no um, I didn't like I didn't know they were going to be this thin basically so hopefully they'll work I've got one Jonathan's got one Cody's got one um, so we've all got towels so I'll just go through Megan's daytime clothes. Um, by the way, most of these clothes, <clears throat> sorry, most of these clothes they won't wear again because we literally just bought them to, you know, to go away with, you know, to get dirty in the day and do activities with. So most of these we won't, you know, we probably won't bring back with us. Um, they only cost you know a few pound um we got some from primark and some from um sheen so we got this little outfit here there's the shorts and it goes with this top and that was from primark um yeah just daytime wear really so that's one um, another daytime outfit, just a pink little top with these shorts. Now, when we were in Primark, I would have gone straight to the Disney section, you know, and had the, because um, you can have Stitch and the Little Mermaid and whatever else. There's shorts and top sets of them. Um, but Jonathan picked these up and I didn't want to say, oh no, we should get the this one and this one. Because... I didn't want to come across as being bossy, um, so I just let him get the ones he wanted to get. Um, there's this top here, which is quite nice to be fair, and like this kind of thing, kind of like a tie-dye thing, really, really suits Meg. Really suits her, and he's got like, little shorts to go with it. Um, another daytime outfit. See, they're just like t-shirts, they're, they're literally just t-shirts and shorts. Um, a daytime dress, this one's off Sheen and the girls have got duplicates um, a lot of their clothes or a lot of the clothes I ordered I ordered one for Meg and one for Isla it's another daytime dress obviously they all need ironing um, I'm not just going to take them like that this is another daytime dress another tie dye one and then I just picked them up, I think this was from Tesco, just a little pink spotty dress. So that's 
Megan's daytime outfits. Obviously, we're going to take a jacket as well and a little cardigan um, just in case that's needed. We are going in August, um, but it is in England, so you never know with the weather. Right now, it looks pretty good, but it could all change, couldn't it? So, evening wear. We've got this yellow dress, and yellow really, really suits Meg. Really, really suits her. Um, probably because she's got the blonde curly hair, but yellow seems to be her colour. We've got this one, which I really like as well. Again, these weren't over expensive. These ones are from Sheen, but they're just nice. They're nice little evening summer dresses, So, and they're nice and light. Um, this one's cute as well. The little, it's got like little roses on. It's very, very cute. Again, nice and light. Um, I got Megan. It looks really big, so I'm hoping it fits her. Um, it's like a, yeah, it's a dress. It's like a bit, well, what age does it say? Well, it's small. It says so small. But anyway, it's a dress that looks like it might possibly fit me. I don't think this is going to fit Meg. I might just try it on for myself. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, they've got a matching trouser set. So this is the top. Like a little belly top. And then these are the trousers. So they're the trousers. So they're, they're really sweet. And then here is the little top again. So they've got their, their little outfit sorted there. Um, and then obviously she needs a couple of these cardigans which I got from Sheen. Again, not very expensive but they're great for just, you know, evening wear. Um, and again, I don't think she'll get much, like, we won't cross... Blah, blah, blah. Get my words out now. We possibly won't be bringing things like that back, like the cardigan, just because I don't think she'll get lots of wear out of it. Um, I love Sheen. I absolutely love Sheen, and the delivery is really good as well. It's really speedy, but the clothes, uh, although they're amazing, they're all beautiful. They're not. Um, not very thick, if that makes sense. They're not like the material isn't the best. So <laughs> that's not putting Sheen down because I've ordered lots from Sheen and the outfits, like I say, are beautiful. But I just don't think some of the things from there are gonna last very long. That's all. So, but perfect, perfect for holiday. Then moving on to Isla, she's got this little daytime dress like a little mermaid which is really cute and I think that colour would suit Isla as well she's got like darker hair with the blue eyes so I think that colour would look really nice on her um, again same as Megan one of these little outfits with the shorts um, sometimes I do like dressing them the same Jonathan doesn't really likes them to have their own identity but I do like dressing the two girls sometimes not all the time in the same outfits because they're so close in age there's only two years and I think it's so cute um, again she's got this other orange outfit like we've got Megan so that's that um, another one of the pink tie dyes so you've seen and the shorts you have seen these but I'm just running through it again and you know the, the uh, whoop, I'm throwing it away the white top with the tie-dye shorts so daytime wear this is so cute as well I love these they've both got one of these these little unicorn dresses and then again she's got the pink spotty one that I got from Tesco so that's Isla's daytime wear. Um, we're going for seven days, so I'm hoping that's going to be enough. I'm going to pack more than seven out daytime outfits. I'll take a few extra, but I think 
that should be fine also I have got to take actually some trousers and um, leggings just because some of the activities are quite messy so I've got a feeling they might need some and not only that if it does rain they're gonna need you know trousers on rather than shorts so yeah that's the girls daytime wear so evening wear Isla has more than Megan so some of them were Megan's they don't fit her anymore so I've just given them to Isla because there's nothing wrong with them they're perfect um, hardly worn so it's just been handed down to Isla um, but she's also got the same as Megan from Sheen this cute little blue dress I'm not sure whether that's a daytime dress or an evening dress actually I suppose I suppose it could be both um, one of these little rose dresses same as Meg she's got one of these dresses I think these are so cute I think we got this from Next maybe or Matalan but yeah she's got that dress um, she has got this dress which is possibly a little bit too big used to be Megan's so probably a bit too big for now but she will try that on her and we'll see this cute little cherry dress which also came from Sheen and the, the thing is with Sheen they are perfect for summer because they're light you know last thing you want when it's really hot is heavy material on you so they are perfect she's got this little dress which also used to be Megan's Megan loved this so she's a bit gutted that her sister's got her of it but yeah there's that one there's this one um, very similar to one of the others that I showed you just because this one was Megan's um, she's outgrown it uh, then we've got just a, a, you know some cardigans just to go over them should she need them and then a very sparkly blue top to go with some leggings or something like that which again used to be Megan's apologise about the noise the noisy car in the background used to be Megan's and she loved it but um, handed it down to Isla now so that is all the girls clothes obviously I've got them new pants I've got them new socks um because I hate it when they wear socks and and this happens all the time by the way they wear socks and then they get dirty and stained I just I can't be bothered with it so I've just bought new socks they're gonna go down with the new ones um sandals which I will show you in a second if I can find them out they've also got to have new crocs and new jelly shoes as well so I've got to go and get them and what else I'm sure there'll be things that I think of as well but yeah they've got their hats as well um, Isla's got like a, a cap princess cap Megan's got the same one but she also got one of those straw you know one of those straw hats that come out I forgot what they're called now but yeah one of them straw hats really really cute so I'll show you now the sandals We've also got the girls these little sea shoes. We've got the girls some. In fact, we've all got some of these. Mine and Jonathan's are just black. Sky wanted some plain black ones. The girls have got these cute little pink ones. And Cody's got dinosaur ones. But I thought they were great for the sea and the, um, and the pools. So, girls have got them. So these sandals, I've just remembered seeing them that there was a big sale, you know, when they do the um, end of term, winter, whatever sale anyway. Um, I got them months and months and months ago. So it was, that's it, it was coming into winter and they were selling all the, you know, the last of the summer stuff and there was a big sale on. So I managed to get Megan, I just said we needed jelly shoes, some of these jelly shoes and they were originally da, 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 doesn't say what they were originally actually no doesn't say but now oh back then when I bought them they were reduced to 
£4.50. That is a bargain because they're really sweet. I'm hoping they're still fitter. And then for Isla, I got these little sandals. They're really sweet as well. Like little rainbows inside. Um, and I got these from Next too. Gone down to £8. I don't think you can you can really moan. Um, so these would be a nice little evening wear as well. Um, what have I, I'm, I'm struggling with the shoes thing. I don't know what shoes to take. Obviously they're going to have to take trainers. Um, and they've got those sandals. I'm going to get another pair of sandals. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I might get them some of them. You know, is it T-bar? T-bar, T-bar, T-bar shoes. You know, they um, kind of look like school shoes, but they're not um, in the different colours. Anyway, going to get them some shoes as well. So, yeah, that is the girls sorted. Obviously, I've got to get them some dramas. Um, we're going for a week, so I'll probably just take three pairs of dramas each. Um, and then the, the girls are sorted then. So yeah, I'll um I'll go through Cody's clothes um next time because he's had loads of new clothes as well. He and to be fair, he needed lots of new clothes. Um, he seemed to have lots and lots, and then just grew. Megan's like that. She's um she's always always growing. Little Isla, not so much, but I'm sure there'll come a time where she does just sprout up. Yeah, so I'll do Cody's next time and I'll also do Sky's. So, yeah, it's exciting. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, hope you're all having a lovely day and we'll catch you soon.